I will be explaining a developmental network using characters from Grey's Anatomy. Here you can see we have five characters. From this developmental network, you can see that the Alex gene product inhibits the Mark gene product, that the Mark gene product activates Addison gene product, Addison inhibits the Derek gene product, and Derek activates the Meredith gene product. All of these characters have an effect on if Meredith, the Meredith gene product, becomes a doctor. Say that we have a single mutation that makes the Alex gene not be able to be transcribed. He can then no longer inhibit Mark. Mark will be able to activate Addison, who can then inhibit the Derek gene product, and Derek will not be able to activate the Meredith gene product. Therefore, the Meredith gene product will not be transcribed. Instead, if we have a mutation in the Mark gene product, the Mark gene product cannot activate Addison, and therefore Addison cannot inhibit the Derek gene product, and Derek can activate Meredith. So the Meredith gene product is transcribed. Let's say that there's a mutation in both Mark and Addison. Because there's a mutation, Mark can no longer activate Addison, and Addison can no longer block Derek. So therefore, Derek will be able to activate Meredith, and the Meredith gene product will be transcribed. If we have a mutation in, say, the Derek gene product and the Alex gene product, genes. Mark will activate Addison and Addison has no one to block but because Derek is not there he will not be able to activate the Meredith gene and Meredith gene will not be able to be transcribed. Repressors and activators from these symbols work to either activate or block the transcription of the next gene. Without pieces of the chain, the next gene cannot be transcribed here or cannot be blocked here. That overall affects whether the final gene can be transcribed.